does it mean to you that? Well, it means a lot. I think, uh, you know, to do it in front of my teammates, more importantly, I think, uh, you know, this organization will give me a chance as a young 25-year-old kid, uh, which in today's game is old. But uh, to think back then, I got that opportunity to come to a city uh, that I really didn't know much about other than that it was cold. Rocky was here. And it was, in the, you know, a, a hardworking, you know, same kind of DNA that I had back home. So just a matter of going out there and doing it. And lucky for us, it all worked out. You're going to give a speech tonight? Uh, very short, very brief, very... Uh, you don't do anything. Well, it's going to be brief today. I'm going to try my best. Have you, like, thought about what you're going to say? Like, yeah. Or something? Is uh, that, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely took some time, and we sat down, and, you know, I'm still going over it. Uh, you know, po points that I want to touch upon that were very important because there have been so many. So, uh, you know, at the end of the night, it's, uh, it's about all the happiness, all the joy that we all got to experience together. And watching, you know, a little boy grow up in the middle of an island, come to a city like this and grow up and be a young man. Is it weird, like all those years you sat here, you know, as a player, and now you're, now you're sitting here, you know, going to retire as a Philly? I don't, yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I guess it never, I don't feel like I'm retiring. You know, it's just feel like it's just I'm not playing baseball again. Um, you know, I think the, the word retire gets, you know, used in certain degrees. But for me, you know, any athlete that says that they never want to compete when they're done, I mean, I, I'd say they're lying. I mean, that, that never leaves you, and I think that's what makes us who we are at the end of the day to get that opportunity to do something we love, you know, to play a sport at the highest levels. So, you know, it's uh, it's just to me just turning the page and, you know, soon enough, hopefully I'll be back in, in the game of baseball and, you know, show my love and my passion that, you know, to the sport that gave me so much. What's been the, the biggest adjustment going from playing career to away from the field? Has anything surprised you, I guess, in that process? Routine. I think you just don't understand how regimented you were as an athlete. You know, people would say I worked hard. I just felt like I was just, it was what I was doing. And to look back now though, you know, to think about what I was doing and, you know, my wife told me this. She said, the only time I ever worried about you is when I looked at you and you were in so much pain. And I made me realize like, man, I did this for so long for you to only really worry about me through my career was at that point, like when you just couldn't, you know, your back was bothering you or some injury was happening and you were just, you could barely get off the chair. So again, that, that puts into perspective about that, that regiment or that, what we call it, the grind that you were on. You know, I just felt like I did that since I was, you know, hey big or when I first got involved and got on my feet running around. So I think that part is what's been kind of a big adjustment for me is that I have no motivation to go to the gym. I have no motivation to go back and, you know, it's, but again, it's like I looked, I looked there and I said, I wasn't motivated then either, but, I did it. So I think it's more just centering your focus, you know, and turning it away from that. But, you know, look at Chase, Chase's scenario. I mean, that's the same thing. I think we've come to a point in life where that missing and being away from your family, you understand it. You know, the grind of being with your children. Uh, but to me, I feel like I truly work harder now. I mean, taking my kids everywhere and basically being on their dime and I need to be, hey, there you are. Uh, you know, to be to uh, to be anywhere throughout the process. I think that's you know, like I said, the biggest thing is my regiment.